I'm getting it Como la ma luxury I'm when I drop in this When I turn up, you know I'm on my On my Yes, I'm on my I'm on my On my Yes, I'm on my I am so I'm so Yes, I am so I'm on my 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 What is going on, guys? What is going on? You guys are saying you can use that Wi-Fi? Oh, man. Uh, Freddy, I, I, what? I mean, Freddy, send me an email, man. I, I, I don't know what he's talking about. I, I really don't care what he's talking about. Uh, sup, Alex? What's good? Skulls. It's good. I'm drinking coffee tonight, guys. Daryl Zutter, what is going on? My man. Ladies and gentlemen, Daryl Zutter, he is um, the spokesman for Gabe Nation, actually. He tokened that uh, hashtag. So, all right, bless him. All right, what's going on, John? 
Alright, thanks, yeah, got that, uh, the light's too bright, what light's too bright? Silverback, what light, what light? I mean, what, what, what do you need me, what do you need me to dim out? See, 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 I control it with an app, let's go ahead. Better? Is that better? There we get it there? Is that better, guys? Yo, she did it, what is going on? I uh, had a lot of fun talking to your wife today. <laughs> oh, man. Hey. My voice too loud. You know what? I'm using a new mic. I'm using a new mic. Hold on. Let me let me go ahead and uh, edit that. Hold on. Let's bring it down here. Let's bring the levels down here. It should be better now. All right. I'm using uh, what is called, uh, oh, my God, accordion. Cordioid, cordioid, Mike. There you go. Uh, I'm overpowering the mic now. Actually, you guys should see the changes now. I'm keeping it within the 12 decibel range. All right. No, it is brown. <laughs> All right. The skull's got a router. <laughs> Yeah, all right, so, yeah, all right, so we're better now with the mic. I'm using a cordioid, uh, cordioid mic, guys, check this out, right, so I got it on uh, an H4 Zoom, and then it's routed to the PC, then it's routed to here. This YouTube game, man, it's, it's, it's sophisticated. All right, the skulls, I'm glad you got that router. Hey, speaking of that router, where the hell is that router? Because I'm trying to give this away. Ladies and gentlemen, listen. All right. I'm, 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 you know, this always comes from the bottom of my heart when I say I'm giving something away, guys. I'm giving this away, right? This is that router that the Skulls playlist said he got. It's a great router for the price. $89.99, Amazon. The thing is, is, guys, I'm giving two, two away. And the link is in the description of this video. And you have like 1 in 7,800 chance in winning. I mean, it's better than your state lotto, guys. You know, like, you go ahead and click that link and see if you win. That's simple. Uh, yeah, Pimp Tech, what's good? No, this is a 6,700. It's a 17, 1750 AC. Right, so it's the AC1750, John. All right, and the link's in the description of this video, guys. Go ahead, man. It's like, it's already prepaid. Amazon's doing all the heavy lifting for me. So if you guys win randomly, they ship it to you. Like, I don't have to, I don't have to go to the post office. <laughs> I, I, I don't have to do that. Um, yeah. Uh, John, thank you. Thank you. And uh, I'm also giving that one, that one away. That one gets my signature. I still have to review some of the funny comments on uh, uh, that video. <laughs> uh, uh, Jason, yes. 1750, 1900, the Nighthawk AC. I mean, they're running off the same chipset, I believe, is a one gigahertz, you know. You're gonna get uh, you're gonna get all the functionality that you would expect from like let's say a gaming router, uh, so that is a good router, all right. Uh, so yeah, if you bought it, if you're waiting for it, you know what? Sit tight, it's coming in, you're gonna love it. Well, yeah, they do. Netgear, Netgear makes great. Uh, Bill, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alex, I'm sorry. But you guys got to go ahead and keep trying. That link is there for you guys to win. There's two. I already prepaid two. 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 Uh, not four. Two. Two. I prepaid two. All right. So the link's in the description, man. Go ahead and check it out. But um, I'm drinking coffee because, like, after this live show, I have to drive home. It's about 35, 40 minutes. Uh, Jane, how you doing? So how is everybody? Did you guys enjoy that Super Bowl? Who enjoyed the Super Bowl? I'm waiting. Nope. Nobody. Apparently, nobody. Uh, 
Uh, sorry, Josh. Not everyone's going to win. I mean, I wish everyone could win. Uh, the R7000 is great. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, wow. What's up, G-Toys? Yeah, people are pissed about the Super Bowl, thought the Super Bowl sucked. Uh, yes, you know what? The 7,600, 7,000, I mean, the R7000, I mean, what, what, what are you getting there? What are you getting, like, uh, like uh, what's that, an AC3000 in there? Uh, look at the link in the description, Softail. Description of this video is, get this Wi-Fi, man. Uh... Hey, Jason, uh, Bay Area. Well, you're talking about, like, Massachusetts Bay. Uh, man. Brady turned into Thanos. All right. So, guys, listen. You know, when you see, like, an AC 1700 or AC 1900, 1750, 1900, uh, once you pass, like, the 1900, 1950, yeah, you're entering uh, like tri band routers. So I'm assuming Bill is the AC1900 a tri band, or it might be split into two bands where you have a 2.4 gigahertz channel pushing a certain amount of uh, megabits per second, and then you have the 5 gigahertz channel pushing certain megabits per second but the 5 gigahertz channel on all routers is going to push more than the 2.4 gigahertz channel but the 2.4 gigahertz channel penetrates walls better than the 5 gigahertz channel so um, just trying to break this down layman's for you guys layman's you know people wonder you know what do i connect to you know how do i get faster speeds 5 gigahertz you get faster speeds but you get you get less penetration so yeah uh, what's the next best Android box next to NVIDIA? Uh, it's a dual. Okay, so, yeah. So, you're gonna get, uh, you're gonna get speeds, you know, basically broken up within the limits of 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. So, you're probably gonna get, like, 1,300 megabytes per second on the 5 gigahertz channel and then, like, you know, 600 on the, uh, 2.4 gigahertz channel and Alex yes I did say penetration <laughs> uh, yeah you're gonna get you're gonna get shorter distances on five gigahertz guys um, just that's the frequency um, oh my god Teddy you have the Orbi I, 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 I live and die by the Orbi it's a mesh router so you get coverage throughout your entire home within Orbi you have your router and you have your satellite It'll cover 5,000 square feet without any dead zones. That's what I, that's why I love mesh routers, guys. John, are you 50 feet from the router? Like, okay, so ladies and gentlemen, John Hunter lives on the farm. So he wants Wi-Fi signal in the horse's barn. <laughs> John, had to say, man, 50 feet. 50 feet, a 50 foot uh, footprint. Oh my God. Uh, kill me. Thank you. Thank you. We do our best with Ology TV. Uh, Cheapy Link. Cheapy Link, you know what they, they do? Great Wi Fi routers. Definitely. Among the top rated Wi Fi routers out there. And uh, Roger, DJ, yep. You know, Mesh is the best. I mean, Mesh is probably. I don't know, five years from being the next standard in home networking. You know, basically what, you know, CD did to the cassette tape. You, you have an evolution of technology, right? Does the same thing, but does it better? Uh, mesh technology, you know, five years ago just didn't exist. You know, um, it's pricey now, so that creates that... Um, you know, it creates that limit, you know, to who actually gets it. But, I mean, with Jetstream, guys, you guys got to check out Jetstream Mesh Wireless Router. I'm still working on that review. Um, you guys can find it at Walmart, Jetstream Mesh. Um, great, great, great setup, great system. g is auto, unless you choose not to. 
Uh, Roger, I, um, I don't know. I don't know. Are they? I mean, can somebody help Roger answer that question? I'm not sure if they are or not. Um, so, yeah. All right, uh, Doking, if you are on a 3.1 Doxis, I mean, you're going to be able to take advantage of, you know, basically any of the speeds. So if your internet service provider is providing even up to, you know, 700 megabits per second up to 1,000 megabits per second, which is one gig, which I think is fiber optic at that point, but a 3.1 is going to be able to handle all that, uh, all that data. So, I mean, 3.1 DOCSIS 3.1 is the new standard. Can't go wrong with that. All right, Daryl, uh, you want to get rid of Comcast. You know what? Uh, you got a Netgear CM700. You, you might want to check into a Zoom modem. All right, guys, check this out, right? So, if you go ahead and you buy a Wi Fi router. And obviously, it's a more powerful Wi-Fi router than what you would get from your cable company, right? Maybe go on over to Walmart or Target and get yourself like a Doxis 3.1. There's certain brands out there like Zoom, uh, a good brand, and you get your own modem. And what you would have to do is call your internet cable provider and say, I have my own modem. They're going to ask you for like a serial number or like some... Mac number or something like that so they can go ahead and propagate that router. Once they do that, that router is on their system and then you can go ahead and give them back their modem Wi-Fi router combo thingamajig, which is going to save you about 10 bucks a month. So if you think about it, if you are leasing this cable modem router over two or three years and you're paying $10, $10 a month, I mean, you're doing what, 240 to $360 over that time where if you own it, I mean, you own the latest and greatest and you know, you make sure that your home gets the best Wi-Fi coverage possible. Uh, Teddy, you know what? Uh, with the Orby, uh, that's a little tricky, but you can still do 192.168.1.1 in order to get you into your Orby. There you go. Uh, uh, so you have a phone. You know what, uh, Bruce, I did a video on Google Voice where you can use um, a Google Voice number or take a current number and transfer it to Google Voice. And then you have like a hub and that hub acts as um, basically your VoIP. And so you wouldn't even need to subscribe to a telephone or a landline service from Comcast. Uh, paper, people, uh, paper, just gonna call you paper. <laughs> What's up, man? So, so Alex, I hate you, you got optical. I don't got that yet. Even though I do have Spectrum. Uh, Big Perm, yeah, I'm trying to do this on a regular basis. Like, 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 you know, if you guys followed me in uh, 2018, I retired. I retired from my day job. And then, like, 2019 was more of me finding a routine, getting back to the gym, uh, you know, doing thorough reviews, setting up the office. Um, but I do want to talk something. I uh, want to share something with you guys, right? So, we put so much emphasis on the router and the equipment. Now, if you're doing a mesh network or you're doing something from Netgear, you're not going to go wrong. Even TP-Link, you're not going to go wrong. But what I want to show you guys is that, you know, <laughs> a Wi-Fi connection is like a relationship. And so, you know, it's like you need both to work. <laughs> You need both to work. You can't just have your uh, wireless router doing all the work. And I'm going to show you guys an example, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys uh, uh, right here. We're going to, let me uh, set this up for you guys. I'm going to show you guys. It's pretty interesting. 
this this is all pretty interesting right so what we have here in my office this is coming from my Mac and with my Mac I'm getting 31 ping 77 download and 71 upload all right so I'm getting good upload speed upload is what is very important to me because it is what allows me uh, to stream however um, when I went ahead and uh, bought this i buy power PC which I'm using and I connect my camera to uh, I'm gonna show you guys something interesting um, let me go ahead and enable this here and I'm gonna show you guys the before and this was my speed using the, the network card in the PC stock 31 ping 51 download and 15 upload and if you guys were watching my live stream last week I was buffering I was lagging I was frustrated and I'm like what the hell you know this is a $1,700 setup why does my Wi-Fi suck well it's a gaming PC so it's meant to be hardwired okay all right that's cool so what we're gonna do is look at the after now what changed in the after the pings the same but my download got faster and more importantly my upload nearly you know quadrupled so what does that mean well that essentially means well let me explain to you what i did i bought a linksys ac 6700 and basically that is a usb wireless adapter and i knew that the uh, wi-fi card in the system just wasn't doing what it needed to do so basically what I'm saying with this is that your Wi-Fi router can be badass but if the Wi-Fi cord in your system if it's garbage it's just garbage and this is one of the reasons why I said guys you should upgrade to the all-new Amazon 4k fire stick because it does have a better network card or network chipset in the Amazon 4K Fire Stick than in the second generation. And you're gonna get more speeds wireless than you would hardwired because hardwired with the second generation Amazon Fire Stick or any Fire Sticks beforehand, you're only gonna get a 10 by 100, right? So no matter what your internet speeds are, you're still gonna be limited up to 100 megabits per second. Right, so the network card is going to cause a bottleneck, Emma. Absolutely. So, again, your Wi Fi system and your network card they have to work together. You know what I mean? Um, if not, you're going to have you're going to have a shitty experience streaming, whether you're streaming Ology or you're streaming Netflix or you're streaming anything. It's like a relationship, you know. Um, King Davis, I'm glad you're learning something. You know, again, it is like a relationship. Now, I'll tell you guys, you know, it's like, uh, man, when I was about 20, 23, 24 years old, I was engaged the first time. And, um, you know, I thought I thought I was doing, I thought I was doing, I thought I was the man. I thought I was doing my job. I was putting in work, you know, like I was young. I was aspiring. I was doing everything I could. And, uh. I come back from business from Colorado and like the apartment is just like damn near cleaned out, right? So, um, lesson learned, right? So, <laughs> you know, I was putting in the work, but, uh, you know, the receiving end of it just wasn't receiving the work I was putting in. And, uh, sweetheart, Mary, I'm not going to say your last name, but just so happens you ever watch this video or ever stumble across this YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, this is me 15 years later, right? And and if if your daughter was born with a mustache, that's your fault. The, the, those are your genes. Just saying, had to put that out there. Anyway, so back to this. Um, <sighs> had to get that off my chest. So how <laughs> how's everybody? <laughs> how is everybody? Like um, yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, Alex, all right, so, <clears throat> um, Alex, you know, a VPN is going to slow you down. It is going to slow you down. No different than a radar detector in your car. Um, <laughs> no different than a radar detector in your car is going to slow you down. All right. You have that conscious security, and that, and, and I think that that is what's most important. However, Alex, you know, the trick with VPNs is to connect to a location closest to you. That that is the most important thing. All right, connect to a location closest to you. And if you have multiple servers in that location, experiment with the different servers. Tony T, what is going on, brother? Um, all right, Amic PVP says his network card has a custom heat sink and an upgraded antennas. All right, so you got high gain antennas in there. And Amic, if you want to share with everybody in the conversation how that's working out for you, just let me know. Uh, Smar, a uh, babe or Gabe, but um, <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, yes, fat fingers. You know what, fat fingers, guys. True story. I want you guys uh, just try this out this week, right? On on your smartphone, just go to msn.com, and chances are you will land on man.com or men.com. It's just your fat fingers will end up on the A or the E. You're trying to type in MSN, and you end up on fucking man.com. You're like, why the fuck am I at man.com for? <laughs> um, uh, Jennifer, good router. You know what? There's a link in the description. Go ahead and see if you win. That's all I can tell you. Uh, a good router is actually the router that I talked about in my last video. $89, you're getting a workhorse there. Um, as far as an Android box, you can't go wrong with an NVIDIA Shield. If you are cost conscious, uh, go ahead and uh, just get the all new Amazon 4K Fire Stick. I mean, that thing is a streaming monster. All last year, I was, I was hating on Amazon, like, what the hell are you guys doing? And, you know, I guess, I guess they were watching. They were secretly trolling me. Jennifer, oh, Jennifer Sponda, Jennifer from New York. I know exactly who Jennifer is. Uh, Jennifer, you want the hookup? You're gonna have to text me. <laughs> oh, man. The Infinity Shield is awesome, absolutely. And the Nighthawk X6 is, is, is bomb.com. Like, no, seriously, it really is. Um, but, what do you guys think about the new Galaxy S10 coming out? Like, I was doing some research on the Galaxy S10. It's an Android device, so I figured, you know, it belongs. It belongs, you know, in this live stream. Oh, wait, but before we talk about the Galaxy S10, I want to show you guys something here. We're going to go ahead and uh, bring this up here. You guys are going to see me disappear. But as you guys can see, this is the giveaway, right? You see, the setup cost is $197, meaning I bought two, and we only have 120 entrants. I mean, I thought we were better than that, guys. Like, come on, man. I love you all. I'm trying to, like, give back to the community, and we only have 120 entrants. Make sure you check out the link in the description. I really want to give this away. I really want to give this away, guys. So make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. Go ahead, pass this link along. I don't care who wins at this point. I just want to go ahead and give this away. And so, make sure you guys go ahead and do that. All right, so, can you guys do me that favor? Uh, Mitch, is one at a time, you need uh, an NVIDIA Shield and a USB 3.0 external drive. Uh, Emma, can you upgrade the heat sink for the NVIDIA Shield? Like, why would you want to do that? Like, like, listen, man, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. The NVIDIA Shield is bomb.com all by his damn self. That's like, you know, like, you can't insult the NVIDIA Shield like that. That's like, that's like telling a, 
and a, and a, a number 11 chick. I mean, she's not even a 10. She's an 11, right? Nice tits, big ass, right? And, and you tell her, you got, she's got to go ahead and fix her teeth. It's like, dude, why are you asking for so much more? She already can cook. She already wash her clothes. She already have food in, like, in the oven for you when you get home. And, you know, she fuck like a porn star, but you're telling her to go fix her teeth. You can't do that to the NVIDIA Shield. It's awesome. It's awesome by itself. Seriously. Amic, you live in Cali, you get hot there, dude. Like, you know what? You invest more money in your, 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 your electric bill, dude. <laughs> Seriously, man, put a fan on it. You know, you're better off getting like a laptop cooler and putting it under the NVIDIA shield and it'll cool it off than, you know, messing with like the thermal paste and other stuff. Yeah. Uh, Mitch, you know what, man? Go, go ahead and check it out. King Davis, absolutely. Hey, John, you know, my thoughts exactly. And, and, and listen, Amic, you know, I'm not, I'm not here to bust your balls. <laughs> Amic, hey Amic, listen, man. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, um, you guys already saw the giveaway, right? We only have 120 entrants. I mean, that link is there. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Make sure they go ahead and and subscribe. And um, you know, I'm just giving it away. Plus, we're giving the third one away to the funniest comment, which I still have to review in that last video. Uh, Intrigue Tech. So yes, February 20th. Let's see, let's go ahead and look at this S10 for a second. Now I wanna talk about what Samsung is doing right now because it, 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 I don't know. I don't know if it's hurting my feelings or, yeah, I think it's hurting my feelings because I'm gonna end up buying it just so I could do a damn review, right? Because on YouTube, it's all about views and subscribers. So I have to go ahead and buy it, right? But I want you guys to check out these prices here. And uh, you're gonna, I'm gonna get rid of my ugly face right now. But this is the Galaxy S10 and their variants. These are the leaked prices. So you're gonna get six gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage for 749 euros. So that's about like, what, 800 US. And that's the S10e. So basically that is the family dollar version of the Galaxy S10, but still cost more than the family dollar version. Then we go to the standard Galaxy S10 and we still get six gigs at 128, uh, but we have different color sets. Then we got eight gigs of RAM at 512 and that's the Galaxy S10. But then we go to the S10 Plus and now if we look at the very end, we get 12 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of storage for 1400 or 1500 euros. Ladies and gentlemen, that's, that's about $2,000 US after taxes. 12 gigs and one terabyte. Listen, okay, this is my thing, okay. No matter how much you spend on a phone, no matter how much power you have on a phone, them Instagram filters are still gonna look like shit on you. Kill me, I'm sorry, but don't, don't kill yourself. I don't want you to kill yourself. Uh, you know what? I'll tell you guys what. Um, the Galaxy S9 um, is a great deal at this point. Uh, Bruce, no, no. Tell your wife. Tell your wife, buy you the plus. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, but kill me, please. Don't kill yourself. Sorry you didn't win, man. But again, the link's in the description for that neck ear. AC6700. I think it's a phenomenal wireless router. At $89.99, that is, that, that is a steal. Uh, Shirley, I'm not sure why it would sound messed up. I mean, anybody complaining about how I sound? Uh, yeah, Daryl, I'm totally sick. Hey, yep, John, Note 9, dope. Uh, yeah. 
Got one right here. And anybody who buys a Samsung phone, you know what? I buy buy glass protection before you buy a case. Seriously, because the Samsung phones just scratch up like they they just scratch up. Porky, no single ladies here. Porky, go on POF. Christian Mingles, God bless you. Get out of here. Um, Bruce, go ahead. <laughs> Order yourself. Oh, you know the OnePlus 7? I, I really haven't uh, checked that out. Uh, yeah, intrigue. The prices will be adjusted for the U.S. More expensive. <laughs> I mean, euro, 14.99 euro when you translate that to the U.S. dollar. Let me let me see what the euro translates. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, convert this right now. All right, if you guys type in Google euro to U.S. dollar, 14.99 euro equals 1,700 dollars in U.S. dollars. So you throw in tax, uh, man, that's one expensive phone. Yeah, no, that's my, <laughs> that's my hilarious. Uh, Knowles, what is good? Um, you know, Anna, the OnePlus is a great phone through and through all around. The only thing is, is uh, their screen res resolution and their DPI, uh, or yeah, their pixels per per square inch or PPI, right? So so pixels per per inch. Um, it is not. I mean, it's a great phone, great phone. But then again, ladies and gentlemen, what are we doing with phones? I mean, we don't even use phones to talk anymore. We text. You know what I mean? Like you guys, you guys remember. Um, the, oh my god, it was T-Mobile. What was that, the sidekick? Yeah, that's all we're doing is we're texting. And then we're liking comments on Facebook and on Twitter. And we're watching YouTube videos. And then we're doing the selfies and putting an Instagram filter thinking we're a fucking bear. Like, seriously, ladies, 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 listen. You're built the way God intended you to be. I do not want Instagram pictures of you looking like a fucking raccoon with a button nose. Like, that doesn't make sense. Besides, it makes your eyes look all alien-like. It's like, fuck out of here. Seriously. You know, and then women say they want a real man, but you're on Instagram just, like, just changing it up. I mean, you fake as hell. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm that thing tonight. Blame it on a coffee. Blame it on a coffee. Debbie! <laughs> no spread eagles. <laughs> yeah, so you know what? We, we need texting devices. Remember the simple days where you had like a beeper or a pager, or someone messaged you 911 or hello, we knew exactly who it was. I mean, come on, you know, it's just like technology is causing us to be so like disenchanted and not connected, even though we're so fucking connected, right? You're on Pinterest, you're on Instagram, looking at the thought, you know, the whole of the week, right? For those who don't know. And guys, if you're under 13 and your parents don't know you're watching this show, I think you should just X out because it's about to get um, PG-13 here. Um <laughs> Yeah, Debbie. Yes, we're going to vote for Pedro. Uh, so, you know, like, I don't, I don't know. You're going to spend, you're going to spend close to $2,000 to, to text and Twitter and yeah, Cody Prime, you didn't get a notification. You better turn on that bell, buddy. Uh... You know what, the 4K Fire Stick is so much better than the 4K Pendant. The wireless chipset in the 4K Fire Stick is just so badass. Like, it is so badass. Like, I, I did a review on it. If you, if, you, if you check out one of my videos in the Cody Fire Stick playlist, um, you'll see I do a review on the 4K Stick. And, and I was just blown away. Uh, Daryl, do I use any APKs? Um, yeah, I do. Allergy TV. 
By the way, that link is also in the description. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I got confirmation from YouTube today. I officially get the silver play button. Finally, finally. Um, and, and, and I really want to thank you guys. We're, we're going to do an unboxing of the silver play button. You know, and yeah, we're going to have to do that. But thank you guys so much for that. I mean, wow. Uh, seriously. <laughs> wow, Cody Prime said the 4K stick has replaced a shield. Tucson, Arizona, what's up, Miggy? What is good? You know what? All right, so ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the 4K stick versus the NVIDIA Shield. Now, the NVIDIA Shield is the Swiss Army knife for anybody who is getting into streaming, not just Netflix, not just YouTube, not just APKs, but maybe even video games. And, you know, streaming is the future of video games even. Um, and so, I mean, yeah, if, if you got kids in the house and you just want it to be like a family device, then definitely go for the NVIDIA Shield as well. Worth it. They have sales going on. I saw it as low as like $149 last week. But if you're just older and you kick the kids out the house already or set them to the military or told them get a fucking job, which you should when they're already 18, and you're just like, screw it, I want to watch some APKs and just stream and watch movies. The 4K Fire Stick for $49.99, which I think they're, they're even less now. So if anybody can go ahead and uh, do some research for me on Amazon and see what we can get the 4K Fire Stick for right now. But if you're just in it for streaming, Netflix, YouTube, APKs, uh, Paula, thank you, thank you. But if you're into that kind of stuff and just keep it simple, very vanilla, then by all means. The 4K Fire Stick is the best Amazon product to come out in the last four or five years. After the first Fire Stick, which was innovative and just changed the game, and everybody and their mama jumped on it because of Cody, and then now Cody's just... Rest in peace, Cody. Sorry. I said it last year, but rest in peace, Cody. But anyways, and, and Cody Prime, yeah, you rest in peace too. Um, and thank you for the price point. So, but if you have kids in the house and... You don't feel like spending $399 on a, an Xbox or PlayStation or, you know, maybe even a, like a Nintendo Switch, right? Um, go ahead and get yourself an NVIDIA Shield for $169. The kids aren't going to know any different. They're just going to play Fortnite and PUBG and they're going to stream it. It's like, even that, like seriously. Uh, Intrigue, thank you so much. Wow. You guys saw that? You guys could have had the 4K stick for $39.99. Uh, people are still buying consoles. I mean, I have a PC here uh, running a 2070 RTX, uh, RTX 2070. And after doing it, I'm going to do a review for NVIDIA. Um, you know, just uh, test the ray tracing, all that stuff. So th thanks, Daryl. Best Buy had the shield for 169 last week, back up to 199. Smart says still 39.89. Smart, go ahead and like put that link in the comments. Go ahead and get that. Get 39.99 for the Amazon 4K Fire TV stick. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't go wrong. Jennifer, I'm sorry you didn't win. Not everybody wins, you know, but can't win if you don't play. That's all I can say. All right, kill me. Go ahead. Yeah, so so kill me. Again, listen. The NVIDIA Shield is like your future proof. The NVIDIA Shield, you buy it today, you're good for the next five years. In fact, the chipsets in the NVIDIA Shield is the same from 2015 when it first came out, except the form factor just got smaller. Really, that's all it is. Um... Uh, Jennifer, I, I, I'm i never going back to Connecticut. I hate Connecticut. <laughs> Especially with all that snow. <laughs> yes, 200K next, guys. God willing. All right, I need you guys to share the hell out of me and just sh just tell everybody I'm fucked up in the head. And uh, But we have fun. 
just let everybody know. And uh, make sure they subscribe. And I give away cool shit. So, that's it. Uh, I'm all out. I'm all out. I got, I got coffee. I got to go to the kitchen and get coffee. So, that's it, guys. Listen, I want you all to share this video for the link. If you know a friend or, you know. Hey, listen, here's a little trick, right? This is what you do, okay? So, you click the link and you try to win with your Wi-Fi connection. Disable your Wi-Fi connection. Use your, I don't know, your AT&T Sprint, whatever, whatever you have. And then uh, try to win with that connection as well. It's a different IP address. So, you know, just double your chances of uh, winning. All right. But I want you guys all to win. And, um, you know, we're going to kick it up a notch. Also, also, hold on, hold on. Uh, I got light sensors in here. So apparently I moved, right? So. Guys, check this out, right? So this is a 360 camera, and I'll be working on a review with this as well. Um, ultimately, I'll be giving you guys a 360 tour of my entire floor, so you guys could go ahead and, uh, you know, check it out. You know, um, basically show you how I live. Let's get drunk, forget what we did. I'm gonna buy you a drink. Name those lyrics. No, no, but I'll show you how I work, okay? And um, I'll be doing that with 360 degrees, and you guys will be able to see my floor. Um, <laughs> yeah, so you guys will be able to check it out. So, John, you guys have a great night. Um, we're going to go ahead and do that. And Touchstone, if you're watching this video, you better do an Insta360 video soon, man, or uh, we're just going to have to do a 360. Um, no stereo consoles? No. Uh, Daryl, send me an email. Did I, did I text you already? Send me, send me an email, dude. It's in the description. I'll go ahead and text you on my drive home. All right. And look, vote for, everyone vote for Pedro. Vote for Pedro. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just rallying behind Amic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey Jesse, take it easy. You guys know how we do? It's midnight. Eastern time. For you guys in the West Coast, God bless. Enjoy your primetime television. For those of you on the East Coast staying up with me and you got nothing else better to do, thank you for tuning in. And uh I'm out of here. Love you all. Peace. You gotta stop streaming. You gotta wait. One, two, three.